Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Man 21 Ultimate Team video. And today on the Mud Journey account, we have finished the Boneyard Brawl challenges and we have finished the House Rules 25 wins. I have been grinding so much over the past few days, but we finally have all of this stuff done, earned our two free 90 overalls. And today we're going to be adding three 90 plus players to the team, hopefully powering some of them up. I plan on uh, moving some positions around so a lot of stuff is going to be happening in this video but before we get in the video guys and make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe and notice on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you don't miss any coming out in the future without further ado let's get right into the video all right guys as you guys can see we have a couple positions on the team that are missing we got our halfback number one gone and moving on to the defense we got a bunch of different positions we got our right outside linebacker we got our d tackle number two and our cornerback number one all have been taken out we are going to be looking to sell all of those players and um make some upgrades to the team so i'm going to be going over all the stuff that we're going to be doing starting off we are no longer going to have bo jackson on the team bo jackson was good while we had him but we don't need him anymore we're not going to be rocking out with bo jackson we're going to take back all of what we did take back our um legend take back our training and all this stuff this training is going to be very useful to power up all the players we are going to be needing to power up and i'm super excited to add some new players obviously bo jackson was a really really nice card to have but it is what it is we got to move on from our players and get some new players on the team um the next player we are getting rid of is we are going to be getting rid of this preston smith we're going to be quick selling him for 450 training he is no longer on the team um the next player we're going to be getting rid of is this reggie white he is no longer on the team. He's going for 50 training, so easy training right there. And I believe that is all the positions that we just removed from the lineup. Um, so that should be about it. Yep, all right. So what we're going to be doing now is I am going to be going ahead and quick selling these three cards. That gets us 455 treats. All those cards were earned nat from the challenges. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the store. Go to the most feared store and we're going to buy ourselves an 87 overall most feared fantasy pack. All these treats completely earned free from house rules and challenges and stuff. So a completely free 87. And with this 87, we're going to be picking Justin Reed. And we are going to be able to complete the 92 overall player set for completely free of charge. We're going to be getting 290 overalls, a 92 and a power up of that 92 on the team so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get into the packs where we get to choose ourselves our free 90 overall starting off with our 90 overall nat most feared player from the challenges we are gonna be going with jair alexander as the first one he is gonna be coming as the first 90 overall and the second one we're going to be going with is Raheem Mostert right here taking our 290 overalls that we need to add to the set we got about 230k we got about 1700 training hopefully that will be enough to go ahead and power up some of these players that we're going to be adding to the team but going to scary fast we're going to be picking up a brand new right outside linebacker in Derek Thomas that's right Derek Thomas is going to be coming to the team along with Jair Alexander and Raheem Mostert so that's super sick and then I'm also going to do a little bit with a crafty cauldron to pick up some players so we'll be doing that but as you guys can see 92 overall Derek Thomas for completely free not a single coin spent on this man we get our power up Derek Thomas the Derek Thomas and Raheem Mostert and looking at that animation we get ourselves the Jair Alexander looking insane right there adding all those players to the team is super dope Right now, we got about 230,000 coins, about 1,700 training. We got that Bo Jackson, and we got his power-up. I'm hoping when we have enough coins and training to go ahead and power all these players up. But what I need to do is I need to go ahead and sell off this Bo Jackson because we don't want him on the team anymore. About 150k for him. That's solid. We'll put him up for like 148 just so he's pretty much guaranteed to sell uh, 148k. For this Bo Jackson is a solid price for a 90 overall, especially um i'm happy to take that from him so 148 right there and then we also have his power up which we need to sell which we probably could get like 10k for if i had to guess uh yep about 13k solid solid stuff right there i mean for our power up that's really really good i'll definitely take it so we'll go ahead and throw this bow jackson power up for 13k exactly we just gotta go ahead and subtract that 100 from the total 
13k up on the auction block both Bo Jackson cards are now officially on the auction block and now we are going to look into upgrading these players we obviously still need to get Jair and Raheem Mostert's power-ups hoping they aren't expensive but I'd imagine they're pretty dang expensive right now we'll have to see what they're looking like if they are expensive we might be we might be screwed because I didn't really look at the power up prices before this video so we're looking at Jair hopefully hopefully he's not too expensive oh man yeah he oh my god yeah he's way more expensive than I thought all right so Jair Alexander will be interesting let's look at Raheem Moser real quick and see if he's gonna be an option that we can go ahead and pick up uh yet Raheem Moser he's about 60k all right all right this is not looking good I'm gonna have to find a way that to see if I can go ahead and get these power-ups all right guys well I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do right there but for now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be powering up Derek Thomas to the ability that we can, I'll have to look into it. I'll probably just have to bite the bullet and go ahead and buy those power-ups. We're just going to go ahead and power up Derek Thomas to the highest overall we can power him up to, which is an 86 overall. We need about 3,700 more training. This is going to be really, really expensive, man. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about doing this because I don't know if we're going to be able to afford this. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go buy Raheem Osin and Jay or Alexander's power-ups. Hopefully, Bo Jackson sells pretty soon. I forgot I have this 88 overall Mike Davis Team of the Week card. So, uh, what sets does he go into? Oh, yeah, he goes into um, all of these sets and then the Player of the Week sets. I'll look into, like, the Chase Claypool set, see if that's profitable. And maybe if I have Mike Davis, that'll actually, like, make me some profit. But for now, I'm going to hope Bo Jackson sells. I'm going to go ahead and go buy Raheem Mostert and Jair Alexander's power-ups. And we're going to be powering them up and adding them to the team. Alright guys, we have acquired both power-ups. That is definitely denting our coins. It hurts, but we're going to be going ahead and starting to power up Jair Alexander. I don't know how high we're going to be able to get him. He doesn't have any in-between cards, so it's going to be straight training. Uh, so we are going to be at about 109. Uh, he Obviously, he has his core elite. Um, I can use a power-up pass. How many do I have? I only have 182 to 84, but I'm pretty sure I have some... Uh, 62 to 80 ones that I can use, but it's gonna cost about 2,000 training to go ahead and get Jair up to a 91. Uh, it's gonna cost about 4,000 training for Derek Thomas, and then most dirt will go ahead and get him up as high as we can get him, which is gonna be to actually pretty decently high. We can get him up, um, at least to his core elite, maybe a little higher depending on how much that's gonna cost me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw in a power up pass into Raheem Mostert. We have one more left, so that's clutch. And then we have ourselves that, and he's going to cost us about another 2,000 training. So that's about 7,000 training among those three players that we're going to be needing to power all them up. That's expensive. I'm going to look into ways to get more training. Obviously, Mike Davis, I can quick sell him, acquire about 600 training. I'm definitely going to do that. Um, other ways I could acquire training. I don't really think I have that many players. I don't use this Taylor Mays. I guess that's 100 training. Uh, can I not quick sell? What? It's crying little... Oh, I don't have any strong shades on the account. I forgot about that. Uh, I could probably quick sell those for 160 training. I guess that's fine. Okay, I can't. Um, I'm assuming I don't have the left outside linebacker. Yeah, all right. So, we were able to quick sell one of those guys. Um, looking over the team, I could quick sell this 70, but that literally won't make a difference at all. Other than that, I could quick sell the bronze. Nope, I can't. Okay, I don't have enough D tackles on the team, apparently. But this is tough. This is really tough. Alright, so, while we're waiting to Bo Jack for Bo Jackson to sell, what I wanted to do is, was I wanted to go into the Crafty Cauldron, and I wanted to go ahead and make ourselves the Jonathan Hankins uh, D tackle card, because... We need a D-tackle number two on the team. I didn't really like Reggie White anymore, so he's perfectly fine. He's going to sit in in our D-tackle number two. And uh, the red mixture, I believe, is Rashawn Gary, I'm if I'm correct. And I don't really want Rashawn Gary on this team, so we won't take him. I'm perfectly fine with just adding Jonathan Hankins. So we'll go ahead and add him to the team real quick. Put him in at the D-tackle number two, and he's just going to... Just be a filler player i just really wanted to get him there so he could sit there and kind of just be a guy who it could bring in on like fourth down and at the goal line to really stuff the run so i'm perfectly fine with that the defense is definitely coming along i want to make some upgrades of course uh but we've been upgrading the defense a lot i want a better strong safety right now darnell's having to troy apke i really don't even use him as strong safety i use them at middle linebacker and move ronnie lot to strong safety but um yeah other than that we obviously got to get ourselves raheem Mostert in here we'll just go ahead and throw him in for now obviously we could have just thrown these guys in and not powered them up but i feel like 
I wanted to power them up because these guys they're going to be on the team for a while probably especially with how good they're in they are in Madden like Jair Alexander is always insane in Madden I didn't mean to throw in his 90 but he's always insane in Madden so I'm like hey we might as well just power him up if he's always so good anyway and then we got Derek Thomas we need to throw in at the right outside linebacker position I know this video is going to be a bit longer waiting for Bo Jackson to sell uh while we're doing that we'll go ahead and just get some training into Jair Alexander toss in 450 right there and then I believe we'll also be able to get Raheem Mostert up one more with the 534 training we have remaining. So we're looking not too bad. I'm probably going to go need, need to go buy more training. I'm going to go buy as much training as I can with my remaining coins and I'll be back with you guys once I do that. All right, guys, we went ahead and bought ourselves this Cortland Sun for about 88k. We are now up to 3,800 training down to 6,000 coins. Although we did get ourselves a free Derek Thomas, it is quite a bit of coins to go ahead and power these guys up all the way. It is what it is. I'm willing to spend the, all of the coins in the world on these players because they are just insane. Getting Derek Thomas to the max, though, we're going to be able to do that. Um, I'd like to maybe get some abilities on him, so we're probably going to need to buy more training even, which is just crazy. Um, but yeah, abilities-wise, he's going to get things like he gets outmatch, which, I mean, doesn't really matter. Defensive rally, which isn't very good. He gets enforcer, edge threat, tackle supreme. He gets, like, all these weird abilities, like unpredictable and stuff. Those are weird. But strip specialist is really good. And this is just a bunch of really good abilities. I'm probably going to go ahead and throw edge threat on this man and get him on the team looking like that but card art wise uh yeah we gotta go with the most feared you know we gotta Derek Thomas is gonna be sick on the team I'm super excited to have the 93 overall Derek Thomas added to the team but pretty much now there's not much else we can do actually actually we can go ahead and add our token to sam mills i have an extra token so we'll go ahead and throw that on him and just get him up to an 81 overall i guess but pretty much from now there's not much else i can do so i'm just gonna wait for that bo jackson to sell and then we're gonna go ahead and continue with the video once that happens